All right, here we are with the first of two rumbles. Um, seeing that, of course, is a John Cena quote from a random 2018 episode of SmackDown. But um, the usual, of course. The first rumble of the two, it will be the women's 30 women in the Royal Rumble. So, let him explain the rules. It's, it's a Royal Rumble. We know the rules of the Royal Rumble anyway. I don't know why she's done that. Michael, Corey, you guys ready to feel the glow? I mean, Naomi. And from All right, just Orlando, me. Florida, the first entrant. But honestly, I think she's been per, uh, punished by Sonya Deville for defeating her on this past week's episode of SmackDown. And she's been given the number one number here at the Royal Rumble. Uh, it's not going to be an easy one for Naomi. It's going to be a long ride if she's going to win the Royal Rumble. One of the most athletic superstars in the history of WWE. A former pro basketball cheerleader. And we shall see how she will do. I guess we don't, there's no idea. Exciting entrances in all of WWE. Naomi has got it all to do here. Who would be the woman to go to the Royal Rumble or to WrestleMania by winning the Royal Rumble? Who is number two? Oh, shit! It's the Impact Knockout Women's Champion. And from Richmond, Virginia. I'm assuming she's been left. I've been told to leave the belt in the back. Because I tried to make sure it would go on her, and it quite clearly hasn't. Mickey James, the Impact Wrestling Superstar. A one-time appearance with WWE here for the Royal Rumble. The Impact Knockouts Champion. They're going to push that fact home tonight, I'll tell you that much. But Mickey James will start the Women's Royal Rumble with Naomi. Will we see the first ever person to, well, obviously not be in WWE at the time of participating, win the Royal Rumble? It's going to be a long haul in this Rumble for both these women. Mickey James with the advantage on Naomi. They've had matches before on SmackDown when Mickey was still in the WWE. So they'll know each other quite well. But of course, Mickey is an impact wrestler now. And after her departure, the way it was, the way it was handled from WWE, didn't expect to see Mickey James in the WWE ring again. But she got the call and she accepted the call. And it might not be the only instance of the forbidden door opening here at the Royal Rumble. Make sure this doesn't get out of hand. Normal wear and tear, Cole. That's all this is. When you compete, I'm pretty sure the rumor is that WWE have tried to contact other outside organizations and other outside wrestlers into being in this. Naomi trying to get Mickey James out early. Will the Impact Knockouts champion stay in after making this long of a journey back? Yes, she will. And taking down Naomi at the knees. Number three should be entering pretty soon. Forearm blocked by Mickey. And a Hurricane Rana. 
I think she's enjoying just being back in front of the fans here in WWE. I know she's not officially a part of the organization, but I think she's just enjoying it, taking in the moment. That's how you wear down your opponent. Of course, Naomi. Like we said, did beat Sonya Deville in this past week's episode of SmackDown, which is probably why she's been punished as the number one entrant here. The 2014 World I wouldn't World be surprised. So many rivalries, debuts, and it would be a Sonya Deville thing to do, quite frankly. I wish she's been with Naomi. Pennsylvania. The match saw Kane make his I thought they might have that on the uh, the Rumble itself, or maybe on the pre-show potentially, but I don't know, SmackDown before. And Mickey James looking as good as she ever did. It's not like she stopped wrestling. She just stopped wrestling for WWE. Through, through no fault of her own, really. Mainly because of COVID. Where is number three? There we go. Number three about to enter the Women's Royal Rumble. Who will we get? She's absorbing some offense here. When she agreed to this match, she knew this wasn't going to be easy. But don't discount it. It's Rhea Ripley. I mean, that's a big entrant. Ripley and Mickey James, I don't think have ever wrestled each other. That's a first timer right there. And honestly, it gives Naomi some time to recover. Mickey James was able to get out of there. And Mickey James running the show. Mickey James was able to get out of there. Or trying to the anyway. Look out. Maybe Naomi and Mickey working together here. No. Nope. It's not on that occasion. Oh man, by the hair. Ripley throwing Mickey across the ring by her hair. She's out of it, guys. Yeah, she's leaving her Ripley. I think she was actually going to eliminate Naomi. I think Mickey may have just saved Naomi there. I'm not sure why. Using the elbow as a weapon. A block by Naomi. And a spinning heel ball. kick. She's going to be feeling that one for a while. Naomi was a dancer for the NBA's Orlando and Mickey Magic loving every moment of being back. Right. You can tell so when her Mickey performance is fluid so far. Right and make cake. And can she eliminate Naomi here? The first elimination, perhaps, of the 2022 Women's Royal Rumble. Will it be Naomi? Nice job getting away there. Not just Jeez. yet. When you have somebody that close to elimination, you absolutely have to close the deal. Drop kick by Mickey. Like we said, she's loving every moment of this. Naomi rocked opponents with fast-paced high-flying offense and became a breakout star as a cast member of the e-reality show. The Impact Knockouts Davis. champion Naomi running the show here. Naomi taking a breather. And, and can you blame her? The Usos led a faction called Team Bad and remains a top contender for the Women's Championship. And Hurricane Runner reversed by Ripley. Feel the glow. What a strike. And Naomi could be in trouble here at the hands of Ripley. She's beginning to I mean, this spot was intended to punish she's Naomi, I believe. She's find herself in some serious trouble but who will be out here? Will it be Ripley or will it be Naomi? She seems one big move away from picking up the W here. Rhea Ripley eliminated. The first elimination of the 2022 Women's Royal Rumble. We're back down to where we started. James was able to get out of there. Mickey James and Naomi. Big time impact from way number four coming. Number four about to enter. Ripley didn't even last the count. Oh, it's the ace of spades or the queen of spades, whatever you want to call her. She's vicious. When we look at the prestige of winning the Royal Rumble match and how the event itself puts the world on the road to WrestleMania, we must go back and to Naomi the out. The now it's Mickey and Shayna. From behind. Jarring impact. Neck breaker. Mickey's just putting a stamp on this Rumble match so far. Got out 
of trouble there, which really should come as no surprise. Out of the ring is Nikki, but she fights back. Gets back in. And a bulldog by Mickey James. Like I said, loving every moment of being back. All measured up. Drop kick to the back. Shayna Baszler is number four. Number one and number three already eliminated. Mickey James entering at number two. An impact knockout champion in the WWE Raw Rumble. Mickey going to take a little break here, I think, just to uh, just to take in the adoration here from the fans. And can you blame her? You might as well enjoy yourself. Again, this is every man for himself here in the Royal Rumble. Every woman for herself in this one, Cole. I'll have you know. Neck breaker. Mickey James she is looking wonderful in this match so far. I think she might be about to put the exclamation point on Shayna Baszler here. Mickey DDT. DDT. Here's her chance to end this thing. And Jesus Christ. I mean she's she's loving being back, but all the fans are loving her. Some negative reaction here. And Mickey just gonna take this chance to rest, perhaps. Give herself some time. Shayna Baszler is out. Mickey could be taking advantage of the situation, but the Nikki DDT has left Shayna laying. And now Shayna back to her feet. A reversal, enough time to recover. Mickey should have taken advantage when she could have. Now Mick kick to Shayna Baszler. Top rope now. And a knee drop by the Impact Knockouts champion. Uh oh, no, don't do this. Don't... Here we go. Mickey James absolutely outclassing every woman so far in this match. For how long will it last? Imagine if she wins. As Impact Knockouts champion, she can be at WrestleMania. It's Nikki ASH. That's for sure. And Ray Ripley is really wishing she'd managed to stay in now because Nikki ASH and Ray Ripley not the best of friends here. Mickey could get eliminated by Nikki ASH here. Will it be an elimination for almost a superhero? Not on this occasion. Shayna takes over Mickey, goes to the knee. Is that a kill switch? No, it's a, a bulldog. I thought it was a kill switch at first, I'm not going to lie. Sorry, the unprettier. Christian's not in the, the WWE anymore. I've got the unprettier again. Guys, whoever wins this match tonight will forever be ingrained in one of the most exclusive and elite lists of all the sports entertainment. Mickey now on the receiving end of another elimination attempt, this time by Shayna and Nikki ASH. And she can't hold on. She is unable to hold on. We're down to ASH and Baszler. In the current you know, minute, blah, blah, blah. What a performance by Mickey really James. It took two women to eliminate her as well. Remember that. We could drink the water here. I've got a break, not playing. Oh god, my voice is going. I mean, I love doing these simulations, don't get me wrong, but my voice goes so fast. Shayna Baszler and Nikki ASH. Number four and number five currently in the ring. One's to, one, numbers one to three already eliminated. Nope, reverses it. This might be it. Oh my. Number six should be entering soon. I don't know how soon soon is, but should be soon. Will Nikki ASH be able to hold on here against Shane Baszler's attempt of elimination? He fights out of it. 
And Byron, you never want to kind of much longer than number six like now, this. surely. Especially in a Royal Rumble match, Mike. Nikki A.S.H. with a brilliant reversal. The 2016 Royal Rumble match had and a good slam. Are about to find out who number six is. Oh, here she comes, guys. And she said she was going to win this thing earlier today. Let's see if she's right. It's look Kelly. Kelly. And Kelly, Kelly. I mean, we've not seen her in the ring in a while. But she is back in the WWE. Nikki A.S.H. just been eliminated by Shayna Baszler. I don't know how Kelly's going to look good. Uh, I mean, I don't know how she's going to look good. She just does it automatically. But I don't know how she's going to look in ring. She's happy to be back in the wrestling ring, I'll tell you that much. Pretty sure the last time she was about was the first Guys, Women's Royal Rumble. Royal Rumble from memory. The mastermind behind the epic event. Of course, that person is WWE Hall of Famer Pat Patterson, a true legend. Right hand. I mean, Shayna she probably has wrestling. about a one here in terms of wrestling ability, but I mean, Kelly Kelly's not a bad wrestler. She was just in the WWE at a bad time for women's wrestlers. All measured up. Strong kick. Drop All kick right. to the back. Baszler. Avoids, oh, and Kelly's just trying to avoid this point, but this is problematic for the former Divas champion. It might be a short term in the ring for Kelly Kelly. Shayna Baszler is having her way. Both feet, both feet have to touch the floor once you go over the top rope in order to be eliminated. What a strike. Oh, smart and very fast actually as well. By Kelly Kelly. I think she may have had some training in the meantime as well because she's hitting some good moves here. A lot of these are moves she already knew, obviously, from her first stint. Baszler and Kelly Kelly. Only in the Royal Rumble. The WWE Championship was declared vacant. Tony ruled that the winner of the 1992 Royal Rumble would be crowned the undisputed WWE champion. At the time, superstars past and present. I mean, I think Baszler's chops are going to be a lot harder than Kelly Kelly's. Bulldog, though. And the former Divas champion. Kelly Kelly's holding her own here. I'll give her credit where credit's due. Drop kick. Number seven, maybe anytime soon. I don't know when, honestly. I don't know what his timings are. There seven. we go. As I said it, the seven was ready to get his It's like, oh, it's like me. Sonia Deville. I mean, she might have given Naomi number one. She didn't get much better herself. You might think Shayna and Sonia might work together here on Kelly Kelly. And again, yeah, no, that's exactly what's happening. I thought it may go with more potential, here, potentially Man, dangerous threat of Shayna Baszler, but nope. Sonia just trying to get Kelly Kelly out on top of and Baszler here. What the hell's going on here? Oh boy, that could Kelly be stays like in. If you Kelly, you don't really like Sonia Deville and the way she's been oh, running things. Right you don't really want to be on the receiving end of it. Uh, it's going to be a bit of a fight now for Kelly Kelly She's because obviously now. Sonia Deville and Shayna Baszler, I wouldn't say friends, but She's they're on the her. same page. She's in control. She's in full control now. Louise has pressed by now Kelly Kelly. She's got her. Of course, it's a long-standing tradition that the winner of the war... And Louise says press to Shayna Baszler as well. I thought she was going to go in the corner there because that's why I bloody aimed it. But I guess I was incorrect on that one. This could be huge. This could be dangerous. 
Blocked by DeVille. Problematic now for Kelly Kelly. She's in a bad way here, Byron. And she's a she's not eliminated. She holds on. This is not where she wants to be. She definitely doesn't want to absorb much more punishment if she wants Tony to be DeVille thought she had it then. Kelly Kelly said no chance, mate. And Kelly's just trying to fight both these off. It doesn't she look brilliant? Blocked by Baszler. Drop kick avoided. Now they're going for each other. Kelly Kelly might get a bit of a break here. I lied, by the way, because she's going straight back. Kelly Kelly. Hurricane Rana. However. And a close line. Flattens Kelly. Look at the torque. She's on the to get on the recovery. She's been in the ring for a while now, to be fair. And are we going to see it from Kelly Kelly? Are we going to see the good old finisher? K2. To Sonya Deville. Can that beat Sonya Deville? Who's it gonna be, fellas? And who's next? Number either seven or eight. Scoop slam. Can't quite remember. It's Dana Brooke. This is gonna get interesting. Number eight is Dana Brooke. We talk a lot about dream matches. Entering in the women's Royal Rumble. Rumble. And for good reason. At the 2017 Royal Rumble, we saw two icons go nose to nose. Before then, it was only possible in WWE video games. If you're playing with your action figures at home like Byron, time stood still when Goldberg stood before the almighty Undertaker. Son you Yerville, good now. Or Kelly Kelly, I'm not surprised after that K2. But will she be eliminated here at the hands of Sonya Deville? It doesn't look good for Kelly Kelly and she's out of here. Dana Brooke may be in a bad Revenge there by Sonya Deville. There's so much at stake here, guys, and if she doesn't get her act together soon, she's gonna let it all slip away. One of these women has to pull away. And Kelly Kelly had a good run out, but looks like it might just be her opponent. Ring Ross. My favorite things about the Royal Rumble really is the element of surprise. You just never know who's gonna come out next. No more we've got three in the ring. At the moment, I don't think we're gonna get more than three in the you ring just because how spaced out the entrance are. And this one it seems to be. Shayna Baszler, Dana Brooke, and Sonya Deville. I'm pretty sure Dana Brooke off of memory. I can't be 100% on this because I don't really care. But I think Dana Brooke is still the 24 7 champion off of uh, memory. Shayna Baszler's having a hell of a performance so far. But it's just count for counter at the moment. And Sonya playing it smart here by staying out of it. And Dana Brooke after Sonya Deville. The 24 7 champion having problems. Suplex. So you, Deville, looking good in the ring as well. Obviously, we saw that with Naomi. That could have been Shayna stays in. Just a foul. I thought Shayna Baszler was eliminated there, but somehow it's not going to be that easy to eliminate the Queen of Spades. This time, I think it might be time up for the Queen of Spades. It's not, she's still in. Shayna, the survivor. Number nine. Gotta be entering soon, man. I don't know what time like, differences are. As soon as I say, gotta be entering soon, they enter. I'm just gonna keep talking. <laughs> Shayna Baszler. Her luck ran out. I mean, she did very well. But uh, her luck ran out there. Now, Liv Morgan. 
number nine in this women's Raw Rumble 2022. They know the right hand. Liv Morgan, Liv Morgan fighting back. So close to beating big time Bex. That Raw Women's Championship back at day one. I should go to do it the long way around. Will she manage? We shall see. She's giving it her all though. As a number nine entrant. But as a number nine entrant, she's going to have to last a while. If she's going to get there. Down it goes Dana. Liv Morgan with a leg drop. I'm willing to bet she has a little more gas in that tank of hers. So to go back to her feet. She comes up big Blocked by Liv. And a bulldog. Luckily, Liv hasn't been on the receiving end of uh, Sonny Deville's tenure, I guess we should call it. And Naomi has. Naomi came in at number one tonight because Sonny Deville said she was going to. And of course, Naomi is long gone at this point. These women. Well, especially Sonya and Liv. Right, so like the back of their hands. And Liv Morgan. Sonya, I think, was trying to close like Liv out of the ring there. And it backfired on her. I think Liv Morgan showing a bit of respect here for Dana Brooke, allowing her to recover. But of course, it also helps her recover as well. So I think these two are just going to go at it once the 24 7 champion is back on her feet. And they are. Down goes Dana. Reflecting a bit more on Pat Patterson creating the rumble, I can tell you that the concept wasn't initially welcomed uh, with great fun. to them, Matt. Imagine pitching a battle royal that starts with just two people. On paper, that's a tough sell. But when it comes to Patterson, you have to trust that he knows what he's doing. Lou Morgan, just missing. Dana Brooke, couldn't quite get a reach on the drop kick. Step up into Gurry, avoided. I think Brooke was looking for a finisher there, but Liv Morgan with a DDT to shut that down. Liv Morgan enjoying herself, and here comes number 10. But who will it be? Oh, it's boss time. According to sports entertainment historians, the 1992 Royal Rumble will always be considered Sasha one of the greatest Rumble matches and Liv. of all time because of the amazing collection of superstars who can be flipped by Liv to Sasha. Of course, there's a bit of ring Randy rust Rob there. Piper, Randy Macho Man Savage, Jimmy Superfly Snuka, Jake the Snake Roberts. We're talking this past Marcus, episode of SmackDown. And Nature Boy, Ric Flair. That was a magical night when Nature Boy Ric Flair Suplex to Liv. became the undisputed WWE Champion. Flair was the first superstar ever to win the Rumble after drawing numbers one. Liv slips five. out the and then chop block just the, second man the in bank. To have won the NWA and WWE championships. The first drop kick as well. Boy, and what a women's Raw Rumble we've seen thus far. Ten entrants so far. Not one of them has given less than 100%. He said, Liv Morgan. He's trying to make an example of a blueprint here. Into the corner now. Goes Dana. And Liv. Going to throw Dana into Sasha because the other plan didn't work. We talk a lot about dream matchups and the luck of the draw at the Royal Rumble. Let's talk about reason, Liv's performance so far Rumble, in this year's Raw Rumble. Really wanting another showdown with big time Bex. So of course, retained the title at the top of the night. Like Byron. Time stood still when Goldberg stood before the almighty First match, Becky Lynch retaining against Dewdrop. Will it be the same situation in real life? I don't know, but... Any predictions as to what happened? Dana Brooke 
Planting live. That's how you put an exclamation point on a match. Corey, you talked about it earlier when Goldberg stood face to face with The Undertaker at the 2017 Royal Rumble. It was truly a dream scenario come to well, life. Will Sasha hold on here? The, the power of Dana Brooke Whoa. might eliminate her, to be honest. On social media. Goldberg versus The Undertaker is a match that WWE Universe hopes to see, and what a battle it would be. Goldberg leveled the Phenom with a spear, but Liv Morgan out. Land to Dana Brooke coming back to a little bit. Only time will tell if WWE will witness a match between two of the most powerful. Look at the power of Dana Brooke. It's just the sheer strength to pull that off. But Liv, oh, she's going through the back door. We'll try it again and she'll get it. Riot to live and live to riot. Sasha Banks Which getting a, a roundhouse kick. She's calling her out. And now I think Dana Brooks will get some world medicine. A finisher medicine, perhaps. Planted. And here comes Cora James from NXT. She's heading to the ring with a purpose. Yeah, and that's to win this whole thing. Didn't expect that. The Cora Jade in the Raw Rumble here in 2022. And it's reversed. Good shot for Dana Brooke, the 24-7 champion. She's got her. Liv Morgan She's from behind though. Now. It's not gonna be that easy to get elimination. Nice. Catching Sasha again. Oh, and there's a kick. <laughs> That'll put this you out. Is certainly starting to test her metal. Oh, that'll mess up the neck. This is not going to end well for Sasha Banks. Dana Brooke looks like she's out on those ropes, you know. Sasha Banks needs to Surprised find neither Sasha Sasha's Sasha's nor Cora Jade taking now. advantage of that. She's out of it, guys. Yeah, she's leaving herself wide open here. A competitor. Back to being Cora Jade eliminated. That's just an experience there. It's her first Royal Rumble. And now Sasha's taking over. That's just experiencing Sasha, to be fair. Can't do much about that if you are Cora Jade. Just inopportune timing to make your first appearance in the Royal Rumble, I suppose. Dana Brooke, once again recovering. Liv Morgan and Sasha Banks going at it here. Bulldog by Liv. And so far, it's hard to tell. Because we don't even know who's going to be in yet. There's still some unannounced entrance. Booty to, to the face is Liv Morgan. And out is Liv Morgan. That was out of nowhere. What are we doing next? Paul's oh, next, I'm pretty sure. So we'll go 12. Sasha Banks may be in the ring alone in a second. A if she can eliminate Dana Byron. here, it yeah, might be the case. Looks like we might get an elimination, guys. Can the 24 7? No, I was going to say, can the 24 7 champion hold on? But the answer is no. Sasha Banks standing alone in the ring just now. Waiting for number 12. Look who's coming now, guys. This could be. A oh! Game. This could be more Sasha perfect. Banks Sasha and Banks and Bianca Belair meet once again in the I Royal swear. Rumble. Not today. I couldn't have scripted it better myself. Wow, Sasha Big Banks boot from Bianca. And trouble. Bianca Belair and Sasha Banks meet up once again. This is going to be a beautiful Sasha few minutes. I mean, unless one eliminates the other quite quickly before the next person comes out. Of course. Might not necessarily be the case. Sasha Banks is going to take a lot of damage to be eliminated. Well, again, a lot better number than last year, to be fair. Number three in the real life Royal Rumble. Number 12 in this one. I don't know what should be in the actual 2022 Royal Rumble, but so far, not a bad draw. Splash. 
the strong I mean, the fast the smart there's a reason that Bianca Belair and Sasha Banks meeting once again is the big deal. Back at WrestleMania 37, night one. Bianca Belair won the Rumble, of course, that year and challenged Sasha Banks for the SmackDown Women's Championship. She defeated Sasha. Back at SummerSlam, it was meant to be a rematch, but Sasha Banks, I believe, contracted COVID, I think it was, and um, obviously the whole Becky Lynch situation happened, and Bianca lost the SmackDown Women's Championship. The free fall slam to Banks, and Bianca Belair has dominated the former SmackDown Women's Champion here, as well as the former five-time Raw we Women's Champion. WWE roster, I would underline Sasha Banks is one of our risk takers in the ring. She's never afraid to overextend herself. It's what makes her a daredevil. She takes risks that have paid off and gone disaster. It's just sheer Sasha will show you moves power. You were never expecting. And is this not a bit of a flashback to the match back at WrestleMania 37? I remember watching that match live. It was such a match. I can't, I, I think, I can't remember off the top of my head, but I think it was match of the year, wasn't it? Voted. I can't remember, though. It's her ribs by Sasha. Bianca Belair, just that step faster. There's a reason she's called the fast ace. A high-risk maneuver that works from that top, top rope now. Bianca. Moonsault, perhaps. It is going to be that, indeed. I got to say, guys, Bianca Belair has wasted little time. Oh, right hand by God. Sasha. Lucky 13. The boss is giving Blocked by Bianca. Number 13 coming in now. But what a matchup it has been so far between Belair and Banks. And what a matchup it's been in general, to be honest with you. To Mina at number 13. Unlucky number 13 as well. But will it be her lucky number tonight? To Mina and Sasha. Going out to what Bianca is on the floor. Maybe some teamwork between the boss and the EST. Maybe not. That's a testament to Belair's immense strength. It could have been the plan, but I just want to continue their rivalry. And Tamina, okay, that's smart, isn't it? And the EST, obviously, wants to be the first women's back-to-back -back Royal Rumble winner. Will it occur? I'm not sure. You just don't know, do you? Bianca Belair going to power bomb to me. No, it's an alley oop. And Sasha driven down as well. Bianca Belair at her best. Her B E S T. And the power to lift to Mina as well. It's going to be hard to stop Bianca, I'll tell you that much. I know she's number 12, but they couldn't stop her when she was number 3, so... The 2017 Royal Rumble it's going to be a long haul for the rest of these women in this matchup, I'll tell you that much. Tamina, Bianca and Sasha in the ring at the moment. What an agile counter by Tamina with the Enziguri, to be fair. Now made an impact and she has the power tool in it, Belair, if she can do WWE. it. And I know Sasha will help if she can get up in time. That could have been disastrous. Belair escapes. No in fact, I'm a little surprised we didn't see an elimination there. At the 2017 Royal Rumble, Mark, this could be all she wrote. Nice Russian leg sweep. Russian leg sweep. Is, I think that was meant and to be her finisher. Of course, you can't do the bank Sasha statement in a Royal Rumble. Mina looking for a recovery spot. Sasha Banks really repping here so far. Well, she still seems to be in good shape, though. Her opponent is really going to have to pull it on here if she expects to get back in this match. Eludes that one. 
Not sure how much reversal. Can take. Here we go. Another entrant about she's to come in. Good here, guys. Man, she's got and Bianca against Sasha. Things are about to get interesting now. You can say that again. Aaliyah making her way. The fastest winner in SmackDown history. And getting quickly intercepted by Bianca Belair stars. here. And the and sheer in hour, strength coming into stand. play. Talking of sheer strength, the strong East putting a mark on Tamina. Look out, guys. I wonder if maybe it's a smart idea. See oh, on Tamina, but the rest of the Rumble field ignoring that and Bel Air. Sasha's felt this before. KOD. Now it's gonna be Aaliyah to pick up Sasha. A surprising reversal from Sasha Banks. Sasha Banks still fighting in strong. But I think Bel Air wants to eliminate Sasha. I think that's what the whole plan is. I mean obviously the plan is to win the rumble. Well, that was some reversal by Tamina. When Sasha Banks began her career with NXT, she the elimination by Who's out? Is that Aaliyah? Aaliyah eliminated now. And now the rivals might turn friends here. What a DDT! Wow! Here we go, guys. Elimination coming up. Bianca and Sasha. Will Sasha get the elimination? She double team or she turned backstab. That's the word. Not surprised, one of them is literally called the backstabber, so it's, I should be surprised at this point. <laughs> right to the heart. Oh, what a strike to the oh, back. right hand. Vicious. Oh, right to the by back. Bianca. Planting Sasha Banks. It's like a mini match in this rumble. She's a live wire right now. Get out of her way. And Bianca Belair. Planting oh, Tamina. It'll be tough for Tamina to come back from this. Does so Sasha Banks recovering. Know where she is? Looks to make an elimination here. Will Bel Air eliminate Banks, or will Banks eliminate Bel Air? Is what, what I'm trying to say. But I'm trying to concentrate. I'm not getting eliminated. So far here tonight. Dodges trouble there. You got and it's just an escape from the EST. That was mighty close. Sasha Banks face first. Tamina putting Bel Air across. Number, I believe this is 15. I think this is the halfway point. It is. And it's Summer Ray making a return to WWE. I mean, the landscape has changed quite a bit since you were here, Summer Ray. For my money, guys, there's no greater Royal Rumble competitor than Stone Cold Steve Austin. The man simply dominated nearly every Rumble he competed in. Fair enough. This might just be an elimination, guys. Summer Ray's just coming and made a massive statement. If she can get Bel Air and Banks. I mean, I think Bianca Bel Air was just too focused on the boss. And that's what let her down there. Certainly has an impressive Royal Rumble resume. And it'd be even more impressive if he was able to hold on and win the 1999 Rumble match. But, but it's not going to happen because Summer Rae, after a shocking elimination of last year's Rumble winner, is now eliminated herself thanks to Sasha Banks. Uh, but what bottle is having a seizure? Set it up. And now Sasha Banks We're now down to two members of the former Tamina. team Bad. Sasha Banks and Tamina. Oh, 
Meteora off the top rope, straight on to Mina. This is going halfway through the field. Over it, guys. Long yeah, way to go. Well I'd say it's a long way to go so far, I was about to say, but that doesn't make any sense, does it? Use your brain. This is Tamina's best chance of getting Sasha out of here. At this point, I don't know how much more these superstars have to get And she's succeeding in doing it, to be fair. Tamina stands alone. It will be number 16. Io Shirai, another NXT call up to the Rumble. Meter in trouble. Io Shirai, one of the longest reigning, possibly the longest reigning, I don't remember my exact stats, um, NXT Women's Champion. Mina in trouble. Oh, the arms are oh, the in the arms for a German suplex, and Io Shirai has arrived in the 2022 Women's Royal Rumble. The 2014 Royal Rumble match had so many the fans on our side here. Debuts and streaks all in one that made for an exciting night in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. The match saw Kane make his 15th Jesus Christ, just stomping at Tamina's face. Rusev, Cesaro, Biggie, Luke Harper, Eric Rowan, and Oh yeah, you can tell along with the kick, Shirai. Expect to get hit a little bit. Quite frankly. You're gonna piss around. Beautiful technique. Tamina won't suffer any fools. Quite frankly. And she knows that. So if you if you wrestle like a fool, she'll take advantage of it. You try and the best not to wrestle like a full suplex. Tamina, right little leg sweep. She dodges that Take over by Io Shirai. Planting. Tamina Snooker. Of course, I don't want to reference the Snooker part of her name anymore, of course. For obvious reasons. But I mean, we never, never really proven. Oh, okay. Never proven true. Oh, okay. What just happened on my screen? Basically, to do her dad. Tamina stays in because I'm confused about what just happened. What is uh, this game? I mean, it's not as bad as 2K20, but it is still a bit buggy, isn't it? <laughs> By any means, bad, as bad as 2K20. Big reversal for her there. Oh, and it's a reversal. Well, that was some reversal by Tamina. No, there's the reversal. We're about to get another. Sometimes the reach on this game doesn't make any sense, but there you go. Looking a little dazed here. Yeah, she's definitely not looking herself right now, Cole. Oh boy! That's the return of the And it's the goddess, it's not Fiend Alexa Bliss, it's the fucking goddess, she's back in the rumble. Alexa Bliss makes her return in the 2022 Royal Rumble. And an immediate, oh I thought it was an immediate elimination there. I thought Io Shirai was gone. I mean, Alexa Bliss isn't messing around. He's back for gold. Backbreaker by Alexa Place. Your blocks. 
Not going to be that easy, I'm afraid, Alexa Mitchell. No coup driver. I have completely missed that strike. Look, you can tell. Super kick avoided. But Lex is there. But your escapes. A second time. And now your Shirai. Park suplex. I talk about representing is? NXT in this Royal Rumble. What representation has had so far with Io Shirai. It was like Cora Jade. I mean, obviously, I think it was just poor timing. But she can't really pick her number. Almost immediately eliminated by Sasha Banks. Tamina. Suplex. Alexa Bliss. I missed. Alexa Some of the most tidy of matches is it is a Royal Rumble. Iyo Shirai. Going to try and go far with this moonsault. Just about hits. Uh, it was very close. <laughs> Things do not look good for Alexa Bliss. I don't know and what the she's fucking toying with her now. Payback buttons were, man. We are moments away oh, from the next match. Oh, right. I get it. I'm going to do it. Got it. Here comes one half of the WWE Women's Tag Team Champions. I genuinely couldn't remember that without looking it up. Alexa's gone. Oh, Tamina's on a, a tear, apparently. Imagine if she just immediately eliminates Carmella as well. Fucking hell. She's not above bending the rules a bit to gain an advantage. Will Carmella stay in or will she be eliminated? She's just about kept herself in the match. Planting Tamina. Yosha Rice recovered enough to get back into this match now. Right, Carmella realistically we need to double team Tamina. <laughs> That's probably the move. The maneuver we make. She's been in for a while now. If we double team her, we could probably eliminate her, quite frankly. Yeah! Got me on her. Leg drop by Yosha Rice. Okay. Right, there's no need for that, is there? You could have got her, but now you're being a pain. She's got like beast mode recovery on or something. Did I miss that? It's the memo. Yeah, get her, get her. Come on, maneuver. Yes, Carmella. Yeah. Psych, you can fucking. Go backstab me, alright? Yes. Really She's at it. Is this the Cesaro swing? <laughs> Let's go. The princess of Staten Island has always been harsh impact. It'll be tough for Tamina to come back from this. A lot busy Tamina enough to be eliminated. You never want to find yourself in a Might be annoying. Like this, especially in a Royal Rumble match, Michael. Look out, a possible elimination coming up. Oh, you're actually joking, man. I'm trying to eliminate Tamina, and you're like, oh, oh man, let's go. Fucking hell. Well, enjoy it, Carmelo. Hope, hope you're happy. Gals, with the situation you've left yourself in. Bad way here. But you can bet she has plenty of fight in here. Tamina seems to be a tank today, so good luck. It makes you happy. Tamina is looking to Super kick by Tamina. And she's having a hell of a rumble. I've got to give her credit. Probably the MVP so far. And it might be another elimination. And it is. Fucking hell. If you ask me, 
Who's the Arab woman going to be for the Women's Royal Rumble? My answer would not have been Tamina. Oh, former women's tag team champions together. They're all going to face off in the Royal Rumble. Natalia number 19. Yeah, water on the coast I saw. I could refill the bottle between rumbles. Just the record, yeah, I'm I think I already said this at the beginning, but I'm recording the women's rumble first. Followed by the men's. Because that's probably the way they're going to be uploaded. Gold. The mighty Natalia looking a bit surprised by this assault. But you certainly cannot count Will Tamina be able... I mean, I don't know how many... She might have a women's elimination record at this point. I don't know how many she's got. But will she be able to get past Natalia here? Is the question. And look at vertical suplex. Nice. The answer is undetermined. Natalia though working on Tamina here, blocked by Tamina. And a big boot. And it actually, uh, it might actually be another elimination here. My headset just likes to mess up sometimes. Good, it's really, really fun. Never mind. Missing the boot. I think Tamina's just suffering from exhaustion. I don't blame her. She's been in since, I like, think, 12 or 13, something like that. And the next number is number 20. We look at the of the I think she's the longest, the longest surviving at the moment, if that makes sense. She's had the longest time in this match, in particular. The match started off with two future WWE Hall of Famers in Brett Hitman. And she's not, like, giving up. She's not slowing down. I actually favor her over an Italia in this situation, to be honest with you. Guys, this Royal Rumble match may very well like I said, as one of the I favor her over Natalia in this situation. Whoever's number 20. <laughs> Better watch out. Fucking Christ almighty. Tamina is all her role. What do you think, Corey? Does she have a chance here tonight? Oh, oh she does boy. What kind of question is that? Number 20 is Bailey. She's back. She wants to come back for a while. And Bailey versus arguably the Iron Woman of the match right now, Tamina. Bailey returning here at the Royal Rumble. We're having a quite a few returns tonight. A few debuts in the Rumble as well, I suppose. But Bailey is here. And Tamina is exhausted. I don't know how she stayed in this long, to be quite frank with you. Tamina Snuka just barely got out of the way. Tamina able to escape. Avoids trouble there. A well, that was so <laughs> Tamina is ridiculous. Bailey has just been showed up. Who's and next to challenge Nikki. Tamina? Nikki Bella. I mean. <laughs> I mean, I don't know what to How do you eliminate right Tamina? <laughs> it's ridiculous. Oh, that's how, apparently. You just get Nikki Bella to do a simple clothesline. I mean, she's just coming. in. Oh, they're, they're, they're not waiting the full time. If this is Brie, I'm going to scream. I'm not actually going to scream, but if this is Brie... When I think of memorable moments in Nikki Bella's career, I think oh, of WrestleMania 33. Well then, she and Michelle the McCool and Nikki Bella have had some battles in the past. I believe Michelle's them. husband is watching. I've never heard of him, but apparently it's big news that Michelle's what? husband's watching for whatever reason. But can we give a round of applause for Tamina? What a performance. And the I am in shockers. Fucking Christ, Nikki Bella and Michelle Bacall. Still, I think that was number 22. 
So eight more entrants. Memory serves me correct. By showing her the night, mom and dad shared the ring in perfect harmony. Could be trouble here, guys. Michelle on the verge of elimination at the hands of Nikki Bella here. Will it be an early Nikki exit for so the Undertaker's wife? The nope, she holds on. Royal Rumble was a night to remember for a lot of reasons. Yeah, you're right, Michael. It was the first ever 30 women Royal Rumble and plants match. Nikki Bella. The winner earning the chance to compete for the women's title at Nikki WrestleMania. Bella absorbs the kick in her right hand. Clubbing blow to the back. Oh, Hidden these shots from Michelle McCool. We've certainly seen her with something worse in the past, though. I think Michelle McCool had one good year in the run. I think it might have the first rumble. She had a really good year, got quite a few eliminations. She failed in the end to Asuka. I'll give Nikki some credit, Corey. She hadn't been in the race since WrestleMania. Face first goes Michelle McCool. She was the last woman standing between Asuka and history. Watch this. Oh, Suplex by Nikki Bella. She doesn't look like she's missed a beat, quite frankly. And it's incredible she's Guys, even back in the ring, to be honest. I've not really addressed that enough. In it's incredible that she's wrestling again, especially after she had the cyst that was no like, well, I don't think I'll be wrestling again because of it. I don't really know the full story behind it. Uh, the Bella Buster there to Michelle McCool, but that is phenomenal that she's back in this. Back in the rumble, back in wrestling, really. I don't know if it'll lead to a permanent return. I think it might be just one time thing, but we're going to enjoy it, obviously, tonight. The Royal Rumble's going to pop off, King. STO. It'll be interesting to see what surprises we get this year, what returns we get, and what winners we get, more importantly, most importantly. What an impactful STO. Oh, this is dangerous. Nikki right Bella, here. top rope. She better not be Michelle McCool to her feet. As number next one. Uh, uh, 23. Enters. Look out, this changes things big time. A fresh superstar. Fair enough. Zia Lee. Can't remember if she's actually confirmed or not, but she's in. It's not the best Zia Lee community creation because there wasn't many good ones. It was the most downloaded, so I went for it. So if anyone's got any questions about it, that's the answer. Nikki Bella running the show here. Maybe old enemies can make good friends here by working on Zia Lee. Or maybe Michelle can just do it herself. Yeah, I'll just sit back, mate. I'll have a rest. I'm not fussy. Oh, you're coming for me. Guess I'm fussy. Nikki Guess you're Bella fussy. Whatever, oh, someone's fussy. That one oh, fucking hell. And it's Nikki Bella showing some agility. Oh, and she gets Bella, you get back to her feet. Yeah, no on your feet after Shot to the like back that. of Bella. I'm plying her on the knee. Backbreaker. Like of course, Nikki does have a history of history neck issues as well. Matches. Entering at the number 30. Whatever the 1995 Shawn Michaels with a in Zia Lee in the corner. I mean, the landscape of the women's division now is totally different. Only in the Royal Rumble of 2022 will you see Zia Lee and Nikki Bella tangle in the ring. Executed. The 2014 Royal Rumble match had so many rivalries, debuts, and streaks all in one that made for an exciting night in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. It's in the knees, and now Zia Lee taking advantage. In the Royal Rumble match. Michelle McCool and Zia Lee are all going to go at it. Cesaro, Biggie, Maybe an elimination for Zia Lee on The Undertaker's wife. Byron, I remember oh, will she hold on? The 2014 Royal Rumble and was shocked. He holds I on. JB. She, I apologize for the mic sometimes. I'm doing my controller a little bit too much, and the mic doesn't like it. Oh, I'll fix it now. Go for the look, to the noise. Should be okay. Just a step quicker, it looks like. Nikki Bella, recovering here. Nikki Bella not wasting any time. As Ali 
Go on, taking the break. I've forgotten what it's called, but Michelle McCool. I forgot, I think it's the implant buster or something. It looks a bit like a Styles Clash. It might actually be the Styles Clash because her actual finisher isn't in the game, which would be fine, I guess. Drop kick as well to follow up. Nikki Bella on the verge of disaster. Okay, Nikki Bella is in disaster land. I don't know how much more damage one person could take. What? Drop kick. Chopping Zayali's legs out because she wants Michelle Bacall to herself. I'm going to see the rack attack 2.0. Zalina Vega enters. Rack attack 2.0 to Michelle Bacall. Zalina Vega planted. By Zia Lee. Zia Lee. Pronunciation is not my strong suit, as you can quite tell. Drop kick to Michelle. And a monkey flip out the corner. And that one does the job. It definitely dropped her, but I'm not so sure it's over yet. Nikki catching Zia Lee. Planting. Glam Slam. We saw that earlier in the night, of course. Beth Phoenix. Looking really out to Maurice. You just never know who's going to come out next. Maybe Nikki going to help Zelina Vega here. Queen Zelina doesn't have the royal guys on. She can't really take it off too quickly. The Rumble. Obviously, the other half. Of the women's tag team champions. I'm saying obviously like anyone actually remembers that fact, but it is a thing. It is a fact. I ain't lying about it, I'll tell you that much. Michelle McCool planted. Will she be planted by Zia Lee here? Not just yet. This could spell trouble, Corey. Without Face first. Doubt. In fact, I'll be surprised if this doesn't lead to an elimination. Wow. Nikki Bella just watching well, on. Trying to break here. here. Well, sometimes it's better to release the hold than to get whacked while the opposition tries so to enjoy a break here. Go away. Netbreaker. Ouch. I don't think there's any coming back from this type of assault. She may have just hit a wall here. Now Zia Lee be eliminated by Zelina Vega, Queen Zelina. Does eliminate Zia Lee. Maybe a double team now between Zelina and Nikki on uh, Michelle McCool here. Or so you'd think. There's no friends in the Rumble. I believe next number will be number 25. Getting to the nitty gritty of it now. A compromising position to be in during a match like this for sure. Nikki try to hang on. Trying for the elimination here. I've I've escaped. Yeah, go away. I think you can help. I get it, I'm resilient. You need to fucking put resilience for days. Who is next to enter? Warm up the bus. This one is over. Looks like Brie Bella wants to get a better view. Brie. Nikki's twin sister, of course. Also advertised the Rumble. We talk a lot about dream matchups and the luck of the draw at the Royal Rumble. And for good reason. At the 2017 Royal Rumble, we saw two icons go nose to nose. Obviously, there's only going to be one person that the other Bella is going to be working with. Bree's going to be working with Nikki, and Nikki's going to be working with Bree. Obviously, one of the Bellas will want to main event WrestleMania, and they got so close on the first time of asking the first Royal Rumble, Nikki Bella, the runner up. To Asuka in that first winning Rumble. Rumble. But it was truly a dream. Maybe go one step further tonight. The hashtag 
Three were mates, yeah. Nice. Both. Bottom targets here. Bree to after Michelle now. Nikki going after Zelina. Queen Zelina being taken down. Drop kick. Michelle caught. Fire Bulldog. Nikki Bella and Michelle McCool have been in this rumble a long time now. Oh no. Oh, there goes Michelle McCool. And there goes the leader Vega. We're down to the Bellas. <laughs> We're down to Nikki and Bree. The twin sisters fighting over who's going to go at WrestleMania. We've seen some interesting matchups so far. Sasha and Bianca. We have Mickey starting out the Rumble with Naomi. And now we've got the twins fighting each other. And it's been Rack Attack 2.0 to Bree. Nikki Bella desperate to go that one step further. Does she ever? Get that main event at WrestleMania. Harsh impact. Nailed it. Stomped to her sister. I mean, obviously it's every woman for themselves. And you knew it's just, it could have happened, but it is happening. I mean, it wasn't definitely going to happen. It wasn't definitely nailed on. But it could have happened. And at the moment, we're seeing Nikki Bella versus Brie Bella. The one-on-one -on -one in the women's 2022 Raw Rumble. Bella Buster. And Nikki Bella, like we said, will throw one step further. Becky Lynch and Charlotte Flair are the current champions. And we've not seen Charlotte Flair yet. I had to piss in speak. <laughs> in comes the SmackDown Women's Champion. And it's Nikki Charlotte Bell Flair. Nikki knew though. Nikki knew she was coming from behind. And Charlotte Flair. Can she be the first Women's Champion to also win the Royal Rumble? She's the first Women's Champion to enter it. Well, I guess Rhea Ripley was that. Because she entered, I'm pretty sure, when she had the NXT Women's Champion. But I mean, in terms of like... Ones they can challenge at WrestleMania, which again is the NXT Women's Championship. My point is, she's the first SmackDown Women's Champion to be in the Rumble. I don't know how, I thought how much longer Nikki Bella can survive here. I think she's the longest I've actually survived when I'm playing as someone, which is quite mad. Out of all the women I've had so far, that sounds really weird when I put it like that. And I couldn't help but notice the amount of WWE I think it's going to be Brie and Nikki double teaming Charlotte Flair here. One of the biggest events in WWE. She is on fire. As expected. Double DDC. Look at Nikki go. Go away, Brie. All right, we've got bigger problems. She's back in full control now. And Nikki's just going to take a rest. You might as well. Charlotte's having a break. Bree's been punched, forearmed, I guess, forearm smash. Not the actual day of the movies, but removed. Superstars, and in about an hour, only one of them will be left standing. Push ups by Nikki, Charlotte from the backside. Nikki saw it coming, and once again, the Bellas have put their differences aside to work on an opponent. Just know that. Once that opponent's out of the way, apparently Reeves just a crate. Is acting like a true diva here, and the fans seem to be eating it up. Will Charlotte be out here? I think Charlotte's eliminated. Well, there you go. And we're down to the sisters again. Charlotte, I think she wanted to kind of flex over the current women's division by putting herself in the rumble of winning it. Two women from the past, still in the present, I guess, because the rest of now. But two women's women's division past have eliminated her. 
I mean, Bree got the official elimination, but the damage was done by both Nikki and Bree. Number 27 about to enter the ring. If Nikki and Bree continue fighting, Nikki planting her sister again with an STO. Oh my fucking god. Does this give you flashbacks? Anyone remember the final three of the first women's rumble? Well, this was it. Close quarters, brutal knee right to the face. Ask Nikki Bella and Bree Bella. Yeah, this might very well lead to an elimination. Nice job getting out Nikki of trouble desperate there. to hold on. Great escape. Get a bit of lag, I'm not sure why. Oh, and a bad breaker. Right to the spine. You know that movie where you see the ring? Can we, like, team against the person who really fucked us over a couple years ago, Bree? Help, yeah, doesn't that? No? Oh, you're gonna... Okay, okay. You Bree, I was always a smart sister. Days. All right, mm. Bad things happen almost instantly. A long way down. Besides, I mean, besides demeanor, obviously, quite clearly. You've got to give Nikki Bella the MVP so far. Strike. And that's what you get for backstabbing me, you asshole. Monkey flip and mace. I mean, I mean, these two women look each other like the back of hand. And that is because they probably have the same back to their hands because they're twin sisters. Asuka getting drop kicks. When you compete in a Royal Rumble match, you have to expect to absorb... Blocked by Nikki. I'm absolutely yeah, holding on with Nikki Bella here. Smash. Get her that win that she should have got. Free Bella with a Louise Thez press. Will the Royal Rumble field be ready for Asuka? That is the question. So far, it's proven yes. We're more than prepared. And she turns it around on her. Asuka and Bree. She got her with a reversal. Damn it. Tell me what Asuka and Nikki wants her licks in on Asuka as well. I can tell you this is not how she envisioned this match going, guys. There's so much at stake here, guys. And if she doesn't get her act together soon, she's going to let it all slip away. I don't know. She really doesn't have much reason for concern here. Oh, shit. <laughs> Nikki's just turned on her twin sister. From memory, we still have one big entrance. I think we might have two entrants. that are scheduled. Maybe three. I don't I honestly don't know. I've lost track at this point. All I know is there's three entrants in the women's Royal Rumble left to come. Stopping this one before somebody gets seriously injured. Asuka wrapping Nikki in a pretzel here. Number 28 about to enter the field. And Byron, you never want to find yourself in a spot like this. Especially in a Royal Rumble match, Michael. This will shake things up. Yeah, and I really like your chances here tonight. Check out this, but Nikki's finally eliminated it. Shot C. What a number for Shotzi to enter. Drop kick. Beautiful. Shotzi might be ready for Asuka. We've never seen these two go one on one. But you have to remember how dominant Asuka was and, well, still is. What a strike. Only two more. I'm just going to go number 30 because I get the best odds then. <laughs> The 2016 Royal Rumble match had quite a unique stipulation. In fact, it became the largest WWE Championship defense in history. WWE Champion Roman Reigns was the number one entrant in the Royal Rumble. And in order to retain the championship, Reigns had Asuka to outlast 20 Working well against Shotzi here. But if Roman was eliminated, he'd lose his WWE Championship. And of course, Roman Reigns, I thought, I'll, I thought I'm carrying the story that the commentators just run the sex. I don't care. But Roman, of course, did lose his title. He finished third in that rumble. And the winner, of course, was Triple H. Then Roman Reigns went back at WrestleMania anyway, so it wouldn't really matter. No. Asker and Shotzi. Now, that's an interesting match, actually. That's quite intriguing. 
intriguing combination. Oh Full match to see with that. But his shots, he ready for Asuka? On first reflection, I would say no. Now I think there's one scheduled entrant, a one surprise entrant. Will Asuka eliminate shots as she will? Number 29 about to make their way down to the ring. Who will it be? I, I completely forgot she was in it. I actually completely forgot she was in it. Lita at number 29. Asuka going straight for it with her ass. But is it enough to end it? Look at Asuka stalking her. But now. We've only got one more entrant. It's going to be Asuka, Lita, or number 30, whoever that may be, to win the Women's Royal Rumble. Now, who will that be? Lita could be on her way out as soon as she came in. Except, no, she's not. Suplex by Lita. What a conclusion we could have here. In this women's Royal Rumble, Asuka and Lita. It's going to come down to Asuka and number 30. Who is number 30? She can be very dangerous in a match like this. Yeah, you definitely don't want to Not on this night. All right. Pardon. Pardon. Ronda Rousey is number 30 in the Women's Royal Rumble. Can I can't believe my eyes. I don't think I, I thought she was never going to come back into a WWE ring again. But she's here. It's Ronda Rousey and it's Asuka. Who's going to go to WrestleMania? And this is quite a cool ending, honestly. Asuka winning the first Royal Rumble. Who interrupted the victory at the end? Ronda Rousey. Asuka could win her second Royal Rumble. Ronda Rousey could go to WrestleMania once again and be in the main event. It's literally open. I'm going to be honest, I don't think Ronda Rousey will return in real life, but she has, I think the river is she has signed a one-year contract, so anything's possible. But it's down to Ronda Rousey, and it's down to Asuka, the baddest woman on the planet versus the Empress of Tomorrow. Jesus Christ, what a finale, and what a women's rumble. Shot elimination. Shock survivors like Tamina. Good runs like Nikki Bella, Bianca Belair, Sasha Banks. Massive returns. Shocks as well, like Charlotte and Lita getting eliminated quite quickly. And then, of course, the finale. Ronda Rousey and Asuka. Whether it's in a ring, an octagon, or on the big screen, Ronda Rousey has truly and now Ronda Dare and Asuka saying, "Come on!" on the planet, and that's a title she puts Daring on Asuka, every time even she step the baddest woman on the planet. Asuka's in her days. And Ronda Rousey, I mean, she has the advantage, of course. Asuka ended up number twenty-seven. Does put a huge target on her back. Managed to go for both Lita and Shotzi. But now she got to deal with the baddest woman on the planet. And there's a reason she's been given that nickname. It's not just for fun. Ronda Rousey looking as good as she did three years ago when she left. And Asuka. It, it might be heartbreak. A one massive return absolutely overshadowed by another massive return at number 30. Powerbomb by Rousey. When I saw the possibility that she could be signing a one-year contract, I couldn't, I couldn't pass out putting her as number 30 in this rumble. You can't. You can't pass it up. I don't think... Uh, if she does come in, I'm not sure if she'll be number 30, but you, I just couldn't pass up the chance. And obviously she enters, I think she wins it. Oh, 
Ronda Rousey. All over Asuka here now. There's only been one woman who's been ready for Asuka. She's just taken a sabbatical. But now she's here to take on the Empress. Asuka trying to do whatever she can to fight back in this one. But will it be enough? Rousey blocking. Of course, we've seen early entrants do well in the past, but there's probably no better advantage than entering toward the latter portions of the match. Drop down. Glitch again. Drop kick. Taking off her feet now. Got that glitch with Tamina earlier on in the match. Down there. I can tell you that. Jawbreaker. Is it just a glitch whenever I try to Irish whip? I guess. Hard to argue your point about the advantage of entering what a finale like, though like if this is a finale in real life i'm i'm excited for the rumble i'm already excited for the rumble but i'll be even more rousey avoided by asuka asuka avoiding that or rousey avoiding that kick asuka come on drop by rousey are we gonna see the baddest woman on the planet come back and win the rumble not just As yet got a hell of a fight in her hat like, with Asuka a representation of what the future holds for not just the women's division but the entire WWE Asuka just going hell for leather here she needs to get Ronda out there has to try and wear her down a bit more Michinoku driver have you ever Witness the finale like this. The Empress of Tomorrow or the Baddest Woman on the Planet. I don't even know. I don't even know who's going to come out on top here. I'd like to tell you, but I don't know. Oh, no, Ask is taking complete well. control. Oh my God. But who will come out on top? Block by Rousey. Right hand, Ronda Rousey is going to eliminate Asuka. And Ronda Rousey is the winner of the 2022 Women's Royal Rumble. Now, if that happens in real life, I'll lose my shit. Ronda Rousey makes her return. And she's going to WrestleMania again. Only a possibility, a slight, slim possibility that this will be the outcome. But if Ronda Rousey enters that rumble, by God, she's winning it. And she'll meet Becky Lynch. No doubt in my mind, that's what they'll do. But it's just a matter of if, not a matter of when. But ladies and gentlemen, that's the end of the Women's Royal Rumble. We've still got the Men's Royal Rumble to come as well. <sighs> Fucking hell.